All right. Welcome back. Week nine NFL picks here on Scam Podcast. Uh, coming to you a little late this week, only because of uh, all this COVID stuff and a lot of games, you know, being up in the air. We didn't want to pick games and then, you know, the game get canceled and then it didn't make sense anyway. So we waited until the last second. But we're here. I'm Josh. That's Malcolm. No guests this week since we are doing it the last second, but I did get some picks from my buddy Lewis. And so... I've decided I'm a loser. <laughs> my, picks a are, bit of... my picks are losing. My presidential pick lost. <laughs> Everybody's losing. I wouldn't be surprised if I lose my job next week. <laughs> <laughs> and then your life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, well, speaking of losing, all three of us did pretty bad last week. Guest picker Mark went two and three. I went two and three. Malcolm here went one and four. But we weren't the only ones. I think a lot of people had, had down weeks last week. A lot of games went weird ways. Um, I think that we're going to do that classic thing the coaches do. You just you take the ball out to midfield, you dig a hole, you bury it, and you move on. So I'll tell you what, it was, it was a week for the polls being wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, for sure. What was it, sure. 8 of 12 fucking underdogs or some shit like that one? Yeah, we had a lot of uh, a lot of what seemed like easy bets not cover with the Rams losing to the Dolphins, the Titans losing to the Bengals, the Packers losing to the Vikings. I mean, it was a, it was a rough week. So Instead of the – uh, Pro Bowl this year, they should do an all Corona game. Everybody who got Corona has there. Corona. Yeah. Uh, before we get into the picks, I wanted to tell you something crazy. I'm watching the Clemson game, right? And Trevor Lawrence is out because he has COVID. But he's on the fucking sidelines with a mask on. Like, how does that make any sense? Like, <laughs> defeats the whole purpose. If he can't be on the sideline, he can just fucking play. Like, what are we doing here? Yeah, Anyways, all right, let's hop right into the picks. We'll start with my buddy Lewis. Uh, he uh, sent me some picks over. So his three picks he has for this weekend. He has the Patriots minus nine and a half on uh, Monday night against the Jets. He has the Chiefs minus nine and a half. Um, I don't even know who the Chiefs are playing. They're playing somebody bad. Uh, and the Seahawks minus three and a half. Now, let me look up. Who, who are the Chiefs playing this week, Malcolm? Do you know? Um, Yeah, they're playing the Panthers. The Panthers, yeah. And I think that could be a close game. But, yeah, he has the Speaking Chiefs. of the Patriots, I think this is the week it all falls apart. Dude. <laughs> it's just... possible. That everybody just gives up on the team and the Jets win and a bunch of people lose money. Yeah. So he has the Seahawks minus three and a half over the Bills, Chiefs minus nine and a half over the Panthers, Pats minus nine and a half over the Jets. Uh, who do you have as your three picks this week, Malcolm? I have the He's Raiders. So I feel good this week. I feel like this is the week you put it together. You have a you have a you know perfect week this week. Well, I'm glad for that encouragement. However, I'm gonna counter that with saying <laughs> Every time I have faith in the Chargers, they fucking just keep doing what they're doing and lose. Yeah. So now I'm going to give up faith in them, pick the Raiders, and the Raiders are probably going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and that's the thing. You don't, if, if, if you know, Malcolm's been on a rough spell. If you don't trust his picks, just fade him. Pick the opposite. He's yeah, exactly. giving you the winners just in the, way, in the wrong way, you know? <laughs> but not in person, dog. I got those Clippers. No. <laughs> 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 we were talking a few episodes about about the the price of the haircut going up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, lucky for you, I'm handing it out for free. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So back to your picks. You got the Raiders money line over the Chargers. I'll take Tampa minus four and a half, and then uh, KC minus ten or nine and a half. Yeah, nine and a half. And then I got the. Uh, I'm doing something a little different this week. Uh, I'm going to take the Titans over the Bears, minus six and a half. I think the Titans, they're the better team. I think the Bears are frauds, and we're going to see that this week with the, when they play a, real, a team that can really grind the ball and play mm -hmm. good defense. I like the Ravens minus one. I just think that the, I don't, I think the Colts are a little bit, their record is a little inflated, that five and two record. They should have lost to the Bengals. They should really be four and three. They pulled that game out. That line's um, crazy to me. It's yeah, crazy. I think the Ravens should win big. So I like that pick a lot. And then, you know what? I'm going to, this one, I think you're on the same page with me here. I like the Giants getting two and a half points against Washington. So give me yeah. the Giants. I'm getting three and a half. Excuse me. So Giants plus three and a half against the Washington football just, team. Just act think, like it's Tom Brady. Do what you did last exactly. week. Exactly. I thought that they looked pretty good last week. Uh, the defense really surprised me. They gave um, the, the Bucks some trouble. And I don't think Washington's really good. That quarterback situation is up in the air. And I, I just think the Giants, they get a win this week. And I like them at plus three and a half. Um, as my upset pick. Um, I'm gonna do something that I had. This was my 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 sleeper team to make the playoffs in the preseason, and they haven't been healthy, and now they're healthy. Give me the Broncos to beat the Falcons um, this week. And I just think Drew Lock he started to put it together there late in the game against the Chargers. Chargers, maybe it's Chargers blowing it, maybe it's Drew Lock figuring it out. Uh, we'll see. But I have them beating the Falcons this week. I don't think the Falcons are very good. Malcolm, I think it's a bunch of 
uh, defensive lineman out too. I heard that. There's, a lot, there's guys all over the league right now that are that are out because yeah. of COVID. So, uh, who do you have as your upset? My upset is the Giants as well. Yep, being Plus Washington. three and a half. I like the momentum going into that game. You yep. almost beat Brady. You almost, you almost got it. You almost. They they really if, did have if, a chance. If they would have won, I, I, Brady might have won over to the Giants <laughs> side and started killing people. Dude. <laughs> Just can't beat the Giants. Can't beat the Giants. Can't beat Nick Foles. Yeah. So when's the, besides that game, the last time you beat the Giants, like what was it? Was it that sixteen and zero game? Might have been. Might have been because I know they lost to, the last time they played with the Patriots. They lost to them. So. Mm-hmm. Um, and then our buddy Lewis, his upset pick. He has the Lions over the Vikings. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to stick with that pick because it's so late. But I'm not sure if he knew Matthew Stafford was out. But he's picking the Lions to beat the the Vikings. Um, and then his lock, he has the Steelers. Minus 14 and a half uh, over the Cowboys. The Cowboys are on their fourth string quarterback. Uh, uh, Gilbert. What's Keanu Reeves? Name? <laughs> yeah, Keanu <laughs> Reeves coming in. Uh, Garrett Gilbert is starting for fucking the, uh, the Cowboys this week because Danucci's out and Andy Dalton's out. So I think 14 and a half should, that should happen. I think the Steelers should win big. Who knows? This whole season's garbage. Doesn't the NBA start up again in like a week? No, nah, um, yeah, a couple weeks, December 22nd. Um, so who do you have as your lock? I think you already mentioned that one as well. Got the uh, Ravens, right? The Ravens, yeah. yeah. That's, that's it. Minus I think, one. I think we're on the same page there. I think that that's a crazy line. Um, unless Lamar Jackson is out, we just don't know it right now. But uh, I think they should win that game pretty easy. And I have uh, my lock. I think the Cardinals minus four and a half. I did not like what I saw to Tua last week. They beat the Rams because the Rams kept turning the fucking ball over. They got two defensive touchdowns. Tua didn't have to do anything, and he didn't look very good against the Rams. So I think the Cardinals are going to put up too many points, and the, the Dolphins aren't going to be able to hang around. So give me the didn't Cardinals he have like 60 yards or some shit? Something. Yeah, yeah. He had one touchdown pass that really – it was a f- fluke play because Devontae Parker got crushed as he caught the ball in the, uh, on a pass interference. How tall is he? I heard he looks short in the pocket, too. I didn't see any of the highlights. He's not tall. He's like 5'10 or 5'11. So. I mean, he, he didn't look horrible. It wasn't like it was a disaster. They won the game. He looked fine, but he didn't – Against the Cardinals, who are the number one offense in football right now, they're not going to be able to put up points. They're just not. I think I'm yeah. still confused why they switched away from Fitzmagic when he was doing so well, but I guess we'll see how that all how that all pans out. Um, so that's our picks. Malcolm has Raiders money in line because that's a pick em game. Bucks minus four and a half. Chiefs minus nine and a half. Giants has his upset. Ravens minus one is the lock. Our buddy Lewis has Pats minus nine and a half. Chiefs minus nine and a half. Seahawks minus three and a half. Lions over the Vikings has his upset. Steelers minus 14 and a half is his luck. I have Titans minus six and a half over the Bears. Ravens minus one. Giants plus three and a half. Broncos over Falcons is my upset. Cardinals minus four and a half as my luck. So, again, we apologize for uh, it being so late this week. But, like I said, we didn't want to pick games and then them not happen. Uh, so, thank you for following uh, the show. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Scam underscore podcast. Follow us on Twitch, Scam underscore podcast. We really appreciate all the love and support, guys. Uh, and we'll try to get next week's episode out on Thursday or Friday. Malcolm, any final thoughts before we sign off? I do not. New episode Monday. Or we're yeah, Monday night. Or Monday. Yeah, and that, 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 that one, we'll, we'll, we'll cover all the craziness with the election and all that stuff going on. Ooh, and we do have another good uh, sex fetish email that we will go over. So stay tuned for that. Again, thank you guys for showing <laughs> I love out. again. That mixed in with the NFL picks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, maybe we'll get people to go listen to the regular episodes. Who knows? Yeah. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for being patient, and we will see you next week. See you. See you.